Hello and welcome back everyone to a new episode of EU4 here with me, Sneaky Bard. In the last episode we managed to reduce Bachmanis somewhat down to size and now we're trying to go for the remaining part of Vijaynagar. Our army, as you can see, is in a bit of a pickle and we are going into debt. Oh, we get a new claim. We have lots of war exhaustion which means lots of rebellions. But well, we do have a two um, siege guy general. We want to go. I mean, we will go even further into debt anyway, so we might as well get the prestige, which is what our what is it mission is all about. Come on, let's get our ticking war school here. We can do this. Come on, with a two siege pip general. There we go. Managed to get you. And we could go and try and smash these guys in the dry lands. No, apparently we're not going to do that. We're just going to move wherever. Oh dear. Alright, they are going over there. Let's see if we can't besiege this here first. We also need to... Whoa. Okay. We took a loan and apparently these guys are more than ready. Where are these? In Pune and yeah, you are you're here where we are trying to make oh yeah we can't make these into cores because progress on that has been halted. I will then just buy down some of our war exhaustion just to try and do my best at managing these various rebellions that we've got going on. It's a shame for the monarch points, but alas, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, apparently we go more into debt because I'm not going to lose that stability. Can the merchants give us something? No, you cannot give us anything for those services rendered. Oh dear. Ah, apparently Warangal fell. How lovely. And that province fell too. Alright. Okay, we have gotten the other um, fourth province down in DJ though, which is good. There we go. DJ is soon fully sieged, but they do have an ally, which can make things problematic. And they did get another fort here from us, so let's deal with that. And yeah, where are these guys? In po here, basically. Apparently, we need to go and deal with you in. Some shape or form. Let's see if we can't smash that army into pieces here. VJ, you are apparently now at medium um, war exhaustion. Or war enthusiasm, sorry. Alright. This is hills, but we should be able to smash you. I think, yes, we do have a morale advantage and a tactics advantage, so we should be just fine. Awesome. What happens if we go here? That's a battle. So let's go there. That's nice, we managed to stack wipe you. Let's go back here then. Ouch! Apparently our vassals are all unhappy with us for whatever reason. Golconda is the first one we need to appease. You are just unhappy in general, apparently. Golconda. Yeah, you are a tributary of ours. So, could just cancel that relationship, even though I'm not really that much in favor of that, to be honest. Let's see. VJ, what do you say? We'd sue for full annexation. You're quite not into that yet, and we'd get Mawar into the coalition as well. Not that that is something that I'm too aware uh, afraid of. Oh dear, you are apparently... Uh, yeah, we need to use milk points to harsh treatment you, I think. There we go, come on, get that back. Oh, we gained one stability, nice. That will help us, that's true. Come on get that uh, who do so I want that siege to finish who do we want to gain more loyalty with 
Who can we afford to lose loyalty with? Okay, it would be... Let's see here. Monastic orders could go... I mean, I'd probably rather go somewhere like this and then say, okay, I want the monthly autonomy and the, the uh, power there. Want to lose ducats uh, or get unrest in the Kotte region. Not a big fan of unrest, to be honest. Uh, I'd... Well, I'm just going to lose the prestige, because why not? Come on. Oh dear. Some guy died. We're getting unrest, mercantilism. All these lovely things. Let's get here. Some royal marriages going on. Golconda, I want that royal marriage back. And apparently... Alright. We've gotten our uh, province there back. Doesn't look like we are able to piece you out. No, but soon. Oh, so soon. So let's go back here. Let's hope that... Yes, now they are fine with getting pieced out. Let's get their money as well. Alright, great. I've completely forgot to put the timer on as well, sadly though, but we will just have to deal with that issue on our own. So let's see here how we're going to deal with this. We're just going to make the peace deal right now, like this. There we go. Then, oh dear, apparently we've got nationalist sentiments here. That was not something I was prepared for, but let's just quickly raise autonomy in these provinces and then see what we're going to do you're still uppity but we can give you we can pay off your debt that would be nice we can grant you some provinces like do you want to grant you yeah let's just grant you Garjat what's our overextension overextension is pretty high too but let's Let's grant you Garjat before I get too distracted here. Not Orissa, but you. Garjat. We can't. Why can't we grant you. Ah, uh, we need to grant you Bastar first. And now. And grant you Garjat. There we go. And then what I am also going to do, I'm going to. Put some more diplo points into getting you as accepted cultures because you're pretty high there and then we're going to make you into uh, starting the coring progress here um, probably going to waste some more diplo points here well what we could do is get these here back and get waste a bit less admin points on that all right, how are our rebellions looking? Uh, you might still fire, sadly. And we can't really do anything about that. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. We could, ah, time for a Theravada Queen Regent? No, definitely not time for that, to be honest. Can't lose the stability, really. Alright, you are apparently not having enough land. Can we give you Maravad, Maravada? Here we go. Ah, you're not a territory. That would explain it. Let's give you just something random that is not worth a lot of uh, influence. I was going to say power projection, but obviously influence was what I meant. Let's give you that to you. There you go. And now let's deal with these, um, well, what happened there, sorry, managed to click outside my window, um, deal with these rebels here, is there anything else I could do, apart from trying to pay back my loans, apparently not really, we'll just have to live with there being 
more separatism in these lands. That's just how it's going to be. There we go. And do you want to accept the demands? Yes, we do. There we go. Maintain diplomatic ties with Orissa for now. Ah, we went more into debt. Just start um, by uh, converting you. Who is uppity now? Orissa is still uppity. You would go for something. No, you wouldn't go for the royal marriage. Well, we're not losing anything by keeping you as our tributary, I think. And yeah. Uh, no, wait, I'm not going to want to convert you just now because we want to try and see. There, we can start making you into a cool. That was what I wanted to do. And we want to mothball all the forts. Start saving some money. And we have an absolutely crap queen. But what do we want to focus on? Well, let's, let's wait for our uh, heir to come of age. We might want to fire some some guys though. Not all of them, but definitely you uh, and the mill power guy. Yeah, I mean we'd get eight uh, seven points here, and what would we get here? We would get six eight. Hmm, yeah, I'm just going to wait until our heir comes of age. Definitely need those milk points for now, though. And you, okay, great, we're starting to make money. So we can start repaying at least one loan here. And yeah, that, that makes our finances that much better. Oh, Gujarat is uh, going to war against Bahmanis. Lovely, not what I would have wanted. Ah, and yeah, Orissa is just not wanting to pay tribute here. Oh dear, um, Mahra's opinion of us goes down. Yeah, we we don't really care. Um, yeah, let's let's try and get some money out of them. And you guys, why are you well? I'm just going to heart treat with you again, even though we don't really have the points for that. Just because... Yes, nice, we got some money out of that. Ceylonese peasants, you shouldn't be revolting. I mean, the situation isn't that dire. We're getting some cores in though, which is fine. All nice and dandy. And that should help with the constant risk of rebellion. Yeah, I, okay. All right, we we want that legitimacy. That's definitely something that should be good. Uh, can you give us some money? No, you could give us some points, which we will just take. All right. Oh, we can purchase an ability, awesome. We will definitely go with the unrest one. Even though aggressive expansion would be nice, I'm more in favor of the unrest one here. We can make a dash into a state, so let's do that. And uh, let's purchase. You and you and you can definitely start being converted. Have any other calls? No. Not that that's going to help with the whole uh, revolt situation here. All right, you're trying to revolt again? How quickly are you trying to revolt? I mean, I know you are not happy with this whole situation here. Can we make Marathi into an accepted culture? Yes, we could, let's do that. Poor, poor Diplo points being squandered here, but we're just trying to stabilize our empire as much as possible. Let's hard treatment you again. And then you should just stop trying to. Ah, stuff starts costing more. Uh, being uppity. Okay, Age of Reformation. Oh, and there we go. Back to 
square one with the undressed apparently. Awesome. No, not time for a Theravada regent, definitely not. Could see, no we can't pay back our loans. Oh, and you are back to wanting your precious independence. Which we are not wanting to grant you really. And yeah, you, you can be a core as well here. Your clergy is up at you now this time around. So let's give you let's give you that. That should help with the unrest a tiny tiny bit at least. And here just put you guys here in case something decides to try and rise up. Colonel, can we um, increase the autonomy here? No, we cannot. Come on. I don't want any rebellions if I can help it. Okay. Apparently we did get rebellions, even though I did not want them. Let's make you into a state as well. And yeah. Alright. That wasn't as planned. Uh, yeah, because we don't have the men really to fight against here. I suggest that we just wait for a bit. Nobility wants more influence. We give you this. Yeah, let's just do that. And nobility, while we are at it, oh, you could give us military power. Nice. And well. Do we want to do something as foolish as this? Hmm. No, because we, we need, still need the loyalty, which we don't have. Alright. Let's see here. I mean, we need to defeat you, but you have a god guy as a general, apparently. And what's going on in terms of the rebellions? You are still rising, you are sort of rising, you're rising. Why are you, why are you all like being unhappy? Is it separatism in general? Mostly. Yeah. Alright. Fused food imports. Okay. And when does that go away? Fused food imports goes away in two years, apparently. Awesome. Do we, would we have... No, we don't have a undressed guy, sadly. Hmm. Could try and get some corruption. Not that I'm a big fan of that idea. Yeah, uh, let's just keep our defensive position here. I mean, we can't do anything about those guys uh, taking that province. That, that's just a fact. Ouch. They're hitting us pretty hard here. And we can't... Yeah. Can't even turn this thing on. We should have done that to begin with. Orissa is once again uppity. Should we just... Yeah. I'm thinking about mercenaries. Should we just try and go for mercenaries for a bit? Try and get some uh, backbone to our army. Ugh, we are not in a good position at all here. Alright, let's just put our guys in here. You, you could go somewhere, like here. We just need to get you as quickly as possible. Oh nice, you are now in you might be dealt with by Bahmani's troops instead, which I'd be completely fine with. Oh, Bahmani's uh, gave back some land to Gujarat apparently. Okay, we managed to convert you, so let's convert you. And just deal with in general the whole issue of uh, occupied land. Nice, they dealt with our our stuff here. Do we want no we can't lose admin points now. That would be disastrous. 
Oh, we got a National Unrest guy, which I'm happy about. There we go, come on. Oh dear, Kaladi Separatists over here. Stuff just doesn't really keep working the way we want. Come on. We All we need is for that siege to complete and then we would be completely fine, but yeah. Our empire isn't in a good shape at the moment at all. Let's make you into cools. Oh, and now our super general also decided that he's no longer going to serve us. How lovely of him. And we're losing money. Awesome. So let's go and bash you in the head. We need to recruit the new general. Oh, well. We got an, an a nice, um, what is it, siege general? Uh, we're getting, well, we're just renewing an old loan, which is fine. There we go, managed to deal with you. Oh, and got a trade. Awesome. Okay, now let's start saving money again, shall we? There we go. We have more artist. Yeah. We just have to wait. There we go. No, but you're, you're crap. You're not saving any money by having you. Ugh. Alright. Wait, wait, what? Why are there all these, like, stupid guys coming and trying to uh, rise up against our rule? We'll just have to try and fight you. We can't lose army professionalism. Like, let's just keep this event up. Uh, or, like, you know, closed. And now we can lose army professionalism. Awesome. Okay, rebellion should all be dealt with by now. Um, and we should actually try and do something with our claims that we can fabricate here. There we go. And you, we could start annexing as well. And then we could start fabricating claims somewhere nice, like say in Gujarat, because that is where we are going to expand from here on out. Ugh, I can't have... let's lose Diplo points. Useless points, anyway, for now. And we are getting closer to the military tech that we need, that you obviously already have. Uh, how is... like, these institutions just don't spread here, which is bad. All right, can we, yep, we can convert you. So, let's see. Molten, who are you allied with? Nagaur, Nagaur, who are you allied with? You definitely are allied with Gujarat, as are you, I think. We'll have to do some form of a war here where we drag you in and then make sure that you don't come into the Gujarati war here. Royal marriage with Delhi is gone. Uh, let's take you. There we go. Uh, good. We might want to also do something like improve relations. Can we get? Yes, we totally can get more trust with you. How about Malwa? No. Bengal? No. Wait, uh, no, sorry, I'm looking at Orissa. Bengal? No. Two years? Two years, okay. So let's, let's chill out for a bit. You, I want a claim. So fabricate one. Yep, there we go. Alright. Cool. We could get... Okay, let's get the prestige guy. We need those points after all. How many loans do we have? Too many. Okay, we could ask for a contribution here, which I'd be okay with. So let's ask for that. Uh, yeah, let's lose the prestige, and while we're at it, we're never going to get this mission done. 
So let's not even try. Let's get the military tech points here. Probably never or not going to fill out the military tech tree or idea group that we got for a while because we need to try and actually get uh, caught up in tech. Oh, now we have a Regency Council. Awesome. And they're crap as well. This seems to be dodging uh, or haunting me in this game now. Lots of Regency Councils, back to back, super long ones. Not that this one is super long, but in like in a Persia playthrough we had one. In my private one, I'm having several of these. Okay, let's be back alone. Alright, so I think this is it for the episode. So we did manage to actually expand a little bit, which I'm happy with. But we will have to try and um, make sure that our, let's do that one, our country uh, stabilizes a bit. And then probably try and expand towards Bahmanis, integrate Golconda, and just make sure that we have enough of an army to go against Gujarat, expand in this direction, while we slowly start taking over the rest of India while keeping Bengal and Delhi as allies for as long as possible. Malwa is probably the first one we're going to betray. Uh, and we are only having this whole, um, what is it, relationship with Orissa to try and get as many admin points as we can and to basically freeze them out of any diplomacy because hopefully if there are tributary they won't make it many other alliances. I mean, I could have probably tried and vassalized Bagalkand in that war with BJ if our army hadn't been that bad, but that's something I'll have to think about for next time. I could try and vassalize Memoir instead, though. So yeah, um, there we go. We let that month tick by, which was nice. Before I uh, say goodbye to you for today, I'm just going to make that claim, and here we go. So that's it that's where I'm fine with leaving the episode for now so as always thank you for watching I do hope you are enjoying the let's play series and this episode so if you are then do give it a like do subscribe if you haven't already and if there's something I could do better then do comment on that so that I know how to improve because this is still a learning process as I tend to sometimes remind you of and I'd like to get better at it so any feedback that you can give is appreciated and yeah without further ado i bid you adieu until the next episode bye bye